Hello everyone. This uh, video is about finding interesting and unique uh, images to draw and paint. I uh, like to take lots and lots of very grainy uh, photographs and of crowds and I try and isolate uh, certain images that I might see. It might be still life images or uh, architectural images and especially crowds of people we can uh, find figures. So this um, figure I'm drawing here, this is a, a pretty old photograph in uh, Tokyo and uh, I see the, I've done several uh, drawings of this this image, it's, it's very unclear what, <laughs> and there's no detail at all, but it is very uh, uh, very helpful for your creativity. You're not looking and trying to make a super detailed uh, picture. You're trying to catch people in a very natural poses and uh, in that way it becomes um, uh, unique, as I said, and, and very interesting. So this is a, an old watercolour, just a rough image uh, that I slapped up, as it were, years ago. And I thought I might make a video out of this one to show you how how we can um, make an interesting uh, picture, especially um, I like to tell some kind of story uh, often when I'm drawing and, and painting. And so in this case, uh, it's uh, quite enigmatic. The, uh, the girl is um, buying a ticket and you could uh, pose all sorts of questions about where she's going and is she going to meet someone, that sort of thing. But ultimately, we, we need to, do, uh, to learn to draw. And uh, in this first part, I've drawn a grid uh, to help you to see where things might be. And that grid is... Um, it's something that I recommend. It's divided into thirds, and uh, so we've got two things going for us here. We've got the uh, uh, the rule of thirds, which is very good comp uh, composition and um, uh, design uh, characteristic. Uh, we uh, we divide into thirds, and and somehow it all comes together in a pleasing picture. Uh, that that image of uh, the thirds has been used for centuries uh, with great success. The second thing that's really good about uh, the thirds uh, design is is that you um, you are able to repeat the the design many many times just on a small scale um, you can fit about four 10 by eight uh, centimeter uh, rectangles on a on one sheet of A4 paper, and you can try out different compositions. You can try out different color schemes. When you're satisfied, um, the the uh, ability to draw up and enlarge the picture, and if you once you get the, that pleasing composition and that pleasing um, color scheme, it's terrific because you. Um, you don't when you draw it up onto a large piece, uh, a large canvas, say, or a large uh, illustration board. You uh, you can not have to worry about all of the uh, problems of composition and color. You've already solved those problems, so you go into a different mindset. You you really do go into creative mode then. So, uh, for example. Um, I, uh, I I found this old drawing that I showed you, uh, this little watercolor, and I thought, oh, I really uh, I really like this. Uh, I put it on Instagram, and people really responded to it. Um, and so I I thought, yeah, I've always wanted to do um, a large painting of this, um, a large oil painting. And uh, so I I thought, well, I'll start to uh, to work this drawing uh, a bit more. So um, you, you, the main thing when you're drawing something like this, just to go back to this image, is just keep the lines nice and light. Don't worry about detail. There's obviously not much detail to look at. Um, and also, uh, I wanted to tell you, uh, uh, I'm 
I'll show you something at the end, uh, something that has been used for centuries, and I guarantee that you, um, you've you never heard of it in, in art school. So, uh, yeah, I'll come, I'll come back and, uh, at the end and tell you about that.
So thank you very much uh, for watching everyone. Here's the uh, item that I promised you at the start of the video. It's called a black mirror. It's simply a frame with um, black paper and a piece of glass uh, in front. It's uh, outstanding for uh, making, uh, looking at uh, the reflection of the image in your that you're painting or drawing and you quite simply uh, look at that reflection um, and you you are able to see the um, the lights and darks better. It's a bit like squinting your eyes. But uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope this uh, video was uh, of value to you. Uh, if it, if you found it useful, please give me a subscribe and uh, and a comment if you could. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. The support that you give me, I'll be making many of these videos uh, in the future. So thank you very much, everyone.